Um, now I've got a very underexposed negative here. Um, just plain looking at it, it doesn't look much better than some clear plastic. I've just done an overview and this is what it looks like with the overview. Very, very dark. So with this type of negative, I actually change the scan mode from transparency negative to transparency positive. Image capture will do an automatic overview. Okay, I'm going to scan it as a colour slide, again with millions of colours, 600 dpi. Um, I better just define the scan area. disconnected the mouse and using the trackpad it's not as easy as using the mouse I had to do that to put the headset in for the screen recording okay um, so we're going to have an image size again of about 2000 by 1400 pixels now again it's rotated 90 degrees to the left going into the next 1500 folder as a TIFF and the scanner is not going to do any image correction. So we'll hit the scan button. These scans are a bit quicker than the, the actual negative scans, but it'll still take a little while, so I'll probably end up cropping part of the scan out, or the scan time. Okay, the scan is complete, and uh, so the image has been stored in the NEGS 1500 folder. And as you can see, image capture hasn't reversed the scan the way it did uh, when we uh, did a negative scan. So we'll open it in Graphic Converter. We'll crop to the actual image. This time we'll have to invert it. And we've actually got quite a reasonable image compared to that uh, first overview you saw from the negative scan. It's a little bit flat. So what we'll do, we'll uh, desaturate it. And we'll do the levels. As you can see, this you know, the image data is confined to a fairly small area now. Again, blacks are too black. I might just have a little tinker with the output levels as well just to see what that does. Not doing much, is it? Okay, what we might do, we might cancel all that. And I've uh, cancelled the desaturation as well. I'll actually go back to the levels and we'll do the output first. I'll just flatten it a bit more. That's what I've found is a good thing to do here. Then we'll desaturate. Then we'll go back to the levels. I might just do manual input levels this time. Just sneak a little bit in here and there. Still not going to be a great image 
because it was so underexposed. The black cat's not coming up too good. The skipper's not coming up too good. Blacks are not doing too good at all. But it's certainly better than that um, first overview you saw. I think it's acceptable like that. So we'll save that. As you can see, um, I can get a reasonable image out of a fairly crappy negative. Cheers.